The resolution is not just the ending of a story, but also the beginning of the story the characters will live in after the cover is closed. And again, that's deep. Who are the characters? The characters are gonna live in after it's closed. Well, it's basically saying that the fate is in your hands as the responder. You have to respond to this text in a proactive and critical way. If you want Winston and, and the characters who live in Oceana to have any kind of future, and let's just say you, you know, Winston arguably got shot in the back of the head. Maybe that was figurative. It doesn't matter. If you want anyone who lives, the characters who live in the world of Big Brother to have a better ending, because it says it's the beginning of their story. What happens after that cover is closed? Well, that depends on us. So that's how I bring it back. The reader has an active role. The responder has to engage in a critical way so that we're questioning the motivations of these perverse totalitarian mandates. And we actually stand up and voice dissent together. If we only do it as individuals, we're going to be persecuted and basically killed like Winston is. If we can bind together as a collective, like the proles, but be conscious, unlike the proles, because they're not aware of what's going on, but they're like 85% of the population. If we can all wake up together, then we will shape a more optimistic and more hopeful future for those characters in the story who represent, who the characters in the story are manifestations or embodiments of the collective that we all are a part of, okay? That's the deep thing there. When it's it's figurative when it has that phrase there, the characters we'll live in. When it says the characters are saying, what kind of future do you want to live in? Well, how are you going to respond to this novel? What was George Orwell's authorial intent? That's really what it's saying. What's his intent? His intent is to wake the responder up. We need to be critical. We need to question. All right, what do we need to question? Again, the legitimacy of, of government motivation. We need to work together as, as a collective in exercising independent thought. So almost like a paradox there. As a collective, we need to be individual because if we're individuals as individuals, then it is futile and that's what's represented. Rebellion is futile in the novel when rebellion is individual. But when you have a collective of individuals all exercising their autonomy, all questioning the legitimacy of the government, then you can have a more optimistic future. So we need to do that and that's why it's that's what it's talking about. about the, it's not just the ending of the story.